Probability part two. Let's take a look at these two circles. Now I know that it's not perfect or to scale exactly, but let's just uh, take a look at the first one. Um, we have a circle. It's broken up into four parts, which is, there's your hole, which is four. And the probability of spinning, if you had a spinner, probability of getting that red is one out of four because there is one red colored in. Now the thing that we have to remember is that probability is equally likely outcomes. So all things being equal, if you'll notice that these four spots right here are equally the same size. Might not look perfect, but they're all the same size. So you have an equal opportunity to land on that red one. Look at the second one. Is this one-fourth the way that it's done? Well, you may look at it and say, well, I see one, two, three spots, but they're not the same size. It's not equally likely. So what you have to do is you have to say, well, what if I did make it equally likely? And what if I thought, okay, what if that is broken up there? Then we now have one, two, three, four. So it's still going to be one-fourth of an opportunity to get onto that one. Let's take a look at the first set of rectangles up top. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of six, the probability of getting a blue would be two out of six. Now down at the bottom, if you notice, this one is drawn similarly to the one on the top, except it's not quite cut here. So we could do, think about some dotted lines there, and this also would be two out of six. And then over here, if we split it up, we would have one, two, three, four. We would have two out of eight. What would be the probability of getting green? So here we need to take a look at, we have one, two, we have to cut this and make them all the same. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it would be one out of eight. The probability of choosing yellow would be two out of eight. So we have to make sure that they're cut up into equal um, area, equal shapes. And the reason that um, for the yellow, like it's two out of eight is because this part right here is twice as big as the other ones. So if you were spinning a spinner, spinner could land, you know, like anywhere in here. And so it's got a bigger opportunity. Um, that's why you've got two out of eight for that one. Now here you have two cups with some marbles inside and you have the probability of picking one blue one from this basket. Uh, bucket and one from this bucket. So if you have two blue ones in the left hand bucket, one here and one here, and you have three in here, you have a two out of three chance from the left bucket and a three out of six chance from the right bucket. And if you think about the probability of getting one from one and one from the other, add them up five out of nine. You're going to combine both baskets. So you had um, two blue ones in the first basket, three blue ones in the second basket, and then you had three total in the first, and you had six total in the second, which is where you're going to get five out of nine. You aren't looking at these as fractions. It's not two-thirds plus three-six, but it's actually counting up the total that you have as far as your equally likely chances to get it. So if you had dumped everything into one bucket, you would have a five out of nine chance.